Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Andy Butler. And um, I have already taken my photograph, put it into Photopia and um, removed the background. Just to remind you that you use the polygonal lasso tool to do that. And you go around yourself and then around the whole of the background and you press delete and that will remove your background. Okay, um, another thing I've done is then saved that as a PDF and gone to that PDF and opened it again. So I have two instances of the same photo on two different tabs in my um, in Photopia. Okay, so you'll find out why you need that in a sec, but you will need to. Okay, so I've created a new layer on one of them, move that to the bottom because I want to give it a background color. To get the best possible colour, I'm going to open up a piece of Andy Butler's work and use the colour drop to sample the actual colour in his work. Go back to my original, go make sure I'm on the right layer, go to the paint bucket, click, and it turns the background the right colour. Okay, I'm now going to go to my other piece and I'm going to go image adjustments um, and down to black and white because I'd like this one to be black and white. Okay. Um, I also want to, um, in the style of Andy Butler, give it a bit of an, what we call an inner glow. So I make sure that I am on normal on inner glow and I can adjust these settings to give myself more or less of a dark inner glow, click OK, and you see this is what I'm looking for, this kind of darkness that he has around his drawing in this piece. OK, right, now we create a new layer because I want to give this one a background too. Paintbrush, click, and the background. And what we want to do is we want to merge this downwards, we want to merge the photo with the background. So we're going to click on that. Computer is taking a while. And that should turn both of those into one layer now. Okay. And we're going to go back to the other piece. And we're going to do the same. We're going to merge these two layers so we get one piece. Okay. And now it's a case of taking elements of this image and transferring them onto the other. So I'm going to take the elliptical tool, marquee tool, copy it and paste it. I'm doing this the long way this time. Copy and paste into the um, black and white one and use the arrow tool to move it to wherever I want. And obviously I can drag it, making sure I hold shift so it stays the same ratio um, to make it a different size, slightly bigger. And then I double click onto it again, and this time I'm going to go to Inner Shadow. Okay, and Inner Shadow allows me, as long as I'm on normal and I adjust the settings, oh, and you must make sure that you uncheck the global um, tick box, it's really important. Okay, um, and you check all your settings, and it allows you to put an Inner Shadow into the layer. And as I say, you can adjust the settings to whatever you like. Click OK, click off, and you can see how that has been quite effective at making another section um, exactly like Andy Butler would have. OK, so now we go back to this piece again. I'm going to choose this piece now. Press the Control c buttons to copy it. Go to my other piece, Control v to paste. Choose the arrow key again to move it, and then we go back to the layer, double click, in a shadow, move the shadow to where we want it to be, click OK, and that ends the first part of this two-part tutorial. 